Welcome back to my daily report market analysis videos on Wednesday 29th of January with me Richard Perry, market analyst at Hantech. Looking at Dolly Yen, which is just stabilised a little bit. It had that positive candle yesterday on that strong US data, but just sort of tailed off a little bit. And it's um, again back around that 109 figure area as I speak. Um, it's interesting that we've been looking at w the potential areas at which Dolly Yen may start to find um, support in this corrective move. And, and uh, I've been saying, but between 108.50, which was an old breakout level, and um, and now pivot line, um, and uh, 109 figure, again, another old pivot line and breakout level. So a decent area of support in that. And 108.70 was where that support seems to have now started to build. It's interesting also that the RSI has started to pick up around that sort of 40 mark, you could argue that's fairly consistent with the recovery we've seen since August, 40 area, 40 to 45. MACD lines have just started to just sort of uh, become less uh, corrective in their trajectory lower. And also MACD, uh, stochastics are still actually in decline, but um, it'll be interesting to see if this is a point at which we do see the, the support starting to come in. Um, we're looking at... Um, the Fed meet, meeting tonight, and that's obviously going to have an impact, presumably, on bond yields. Um, although we're not expecting any real movement from the Fed, um, how they go with regards to the balance sheet could be an issue, and uh, how that impacts on bond yields will be key, I think, for dollar yen, because bond yields going higher tends to sort of be supportive for dollar yen pulling higher. So there is an, um, given the fact that um, we've started to sort of stabilise a little bit, um, if 108.70 does get broken to the downside, that would be quite a disappointment, I think, for, for the bulls. And that could open up the 107.65 area again, but obviously initially supportive 108.50. But uh, closing below 108.70, that really would sort of add in an extra sort of momentum dimension to the downside. So we need to be careful of that. But uh, obviously we're waiting out for the Fed in front of that. As I said, this is sort of broadly consolidating um, really. Now, in terms of uh, recovery potential, 108, um, sorry, 109.20, a pivot line around there, 109.20 to 25, pivot line, uh, and then 109.65 being resistance. And um, yeah, it'll be interesting, I think, uh, how the Fed sort of sets its stall out today, uh, and that is going to have an impact, I think, on dolly yen going forward. But uh, for now, we're consolidating in front of that meeting. So I wish you good luck in your trading. Click here to subscribe to our analysis videos and go to our website to sign up for our webinar.